Our commitment to truth and reconciliation matters to me. First of all, because it's what God desires for us, that we be a reconciled people and that we live at peace with one another. Secondly, because it's of the nature of the church. Christ calls us to be a community in which people are reconciled, in which people experience new life. And thirdly, it matters to me because it changes lives. For me, at the heart of reconciliation is, is a willingness, a willingness on my part to hear how it is that I've hurt someone by what I've said or by what I've done over a short time or over a long time. It requires of me a willingness to sit and hear how it is that I've hurt someone. And then it requires of me the courage to express my remorse and to say with sincerity, I am sorry. And to go beyond saying I'm sorry to demonstrate how it is that I will act. What am I going to do what will I say as an expression of how I want to try and make amends? And when I've done that, it seems to me I just have to be very quiet and very patient as I wait for the other person to accept my apology and to do it with a degree of confidence and trust in what I've said I'm going to do to make amends. I need to be prepared for some time to pass before that word can come. And when it does come, then I hope that together we can find some kind of a gesture that expresses the newfound peace that we've discovered, or more appropriately, that God has given to us in that sacred moment. So for me, reconciliation is, is very much a matter of the heart. Hearing not just with my ears, but with my heart. Speaking not just from my lips, but from my heart. For me, it's about that journey, however long it is, that enables us eventually, one with another, to actually look at each other, eye to eye, and in the spirit of God's amazing grace, to smile at each other and then to hold hands and begin walking together in a different way.